Something happened in the White House briefing room, and it almost made me miss Jim Acosta. Almost. White House correspondents are now trying to arrange meetings between celebrities and the president. MSNBC contributor April Ryan asked Binder to set up a meeting between Bi Biden and Stevie Wonder. I had an in-depth conversation with Stevie Wonder last night, who is... I love Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Again, for the serious question, I had an in-depth conversation with Stevie Wonder last night. Who is asking, requesting okay. a meeting with the president? He's very concerned about the black agenda falling along the wayside. Is the White House amenable to sitting down with Stevie Wonder, who has met with presidents um, throughout history, to include Ronald Reagan? He was one of the major impetus for getting the holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And also, he was one of those who worked with President Obama in his efforts to become president. Is this president amenable to meeting with Stevie Wonder, who has these concerns? So what kind of president refuses to meet with Stevie Wonder? You think Trump's turning down a meeting with Stevie Wonder? What else does Biden have going on? Have you seen his schedule? It is wide open. Have Kamala meet with Stevie. She has nothing to do. But could you imagine Ducey saying, uh, Binder, mm, my friend Ted Nugent wants to talk to the president about the border. He's having a hard time getting something on the calendar. And why didn't April Ryan just email Binder? Did she want everybody to know that she's friends with Stevie Wonder? And if I was Stevie Wonder's publicist, I would be humiliated. You can't get Stevie Wonder a meeting with the president, and now everybody in the world knows. But don't take it personal, Stevie. No one in East Palestine has seen the president either. Joe Concha joins me now. Uh, did you see this coming? From a mile away, Jesse. <laughs> and here's why. The April Ryan movie we've seen before. She once asked Sarah Sanders, when she was White House press secretary, if the Trump administration thought that slavery was wrong. <laughs> That's like asking, you think Sam Bankman frieds a good investor? You think Hitler's a bad guy? Right. Once questioned if Kayleigh McEnany actually made a pie on Thanksgiving. Kayleigh posted a picture oh, of, of a pie. Pie gate. Pie gate, yes. And said, I don't think you actually made that. Uh, she actually asked the Trump administration as well if they were running a child trafficking ring out of the White House. <laughs> I'm not making any of this up. You could look this up. Well, Biden's at running home. one on the border, so well, maybe she could point. ask that question. <laughs> White House correspondents, Jesse, used to have gravitas. To get a hard pass into that room, it used to take something. Now we see clowns like April Ryan, Brian Karam, the Playboy magazine guy. He has a White House correspondence press pass. He said just a couple weeks ago that the U.S., okay, in terms of threats, MAGA and Christian supporters are a bigger threat to the U.S. than Hamas. This guy actually wrote this. So these are the people we now have asking questions so to the White House press do, secretary. Do you think Biden's dissing Stevie Wonder? I would think that would be impossible at this point, considering that nearly 25 percent of black voters now support Donald Trump, according well, to poll I after mean, poll. Stevie Wonder is pretty close to not being black because you remember what Biden said. Oh, that's <laughs> if, true. If you don't vote for me, you ain't black. You ain't black. That's a very good point. I wonder if, during the next press briefing, if April Ryan's going to say, you know, boys to men wants a meeting. <laughs> NSYNC wants in. No reporter does this on behalf of a celebrity. To your point, Stevie Wonder must be so embarrassed. It's, it's humiliating, because if you're Stevie Wonder, who can't you meet? You Pope? can walk into the Pope, you can meet anybody, but you can't meet the president? And now everybody knows Stevie Wonder's lost his juice. He has lost his fastball, Stevie. He can't even get in the door at the White House. He used to be able to go in anywhere and out. Sorry, Biden. No, it's amazing. Closing the door on Stevie right in his face. It's on too the bad. way to this segment, I, I tell the driver, we get a driver in and out at a certain time. We're paying for your care. driver? Uh, yes, yes. And they send us Who a Who made that call? They could send a moped for all I care. As long <laughs> as you don't, I don't have to drive into this city. And guess what's, what he put on the radio? I said, listen to whatever you want. Superstition. All right. I'm like, this is karma right here, all baby. All right, Stevie. Stevie, you can come on this show anytime. All right, we'll have you. We'll talk about whatever you want. Sure. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.